Hi everybody. So um, we are done coming up with different ways to solve things. Now we're going to use them. Now we're going to solve them. So it says developing a system. So your job is going to be to come up with this stuff now and then solve. So I'm not so sure you're going to enjoy hearing this, but it's going to be word problems. So they gave you an example here. Oh, no, they didn't. Let's just start with the first one here. It says the Nunavut flag has a perimeter of 16. Okay, that would be, I would say that would be important, right? The length is too longer than the width. It has been suggested that the flag is actually 5 by 3. Okay, so they think it's 5 by 3. Let's use the stuff that we've underlined in green here to come up with a system. And then we have to solve it. So here's a rectangle. Here's the flag. They talk about a length and a width. Okay, the first first um, equation for us is going to be, you know what, I'll put it down here. The perimeter. Perimeter means distance around. So if I start here and walk all the way around, I walk W, I walk L, I walk W, I walk L again. So it would be 2W plus 2L is 16, would be one of them. Okay. Now the next line, it says the length, the length is too longer than the width. So I actually drew it. It kind of looks like it is longer. So what, to avoid some confusion here, this is what I do to start. I'll just say W equals L, which is wrong. Okay. The width is not the same as the length. It says the length is longer. This is longer, but you want them you want to do something to them so that they're equal. So if the length is longer by 2, how can you even them out? Well, you have a choice. You can add 2 to the width, because it says it's longer by 2, or subtract 2 to the length, the longer one. Your choice. Okay. I'm going to say W equals L minus 2. There you go. Okay. So I, I make, I'm totally making this up. But let's say that the uh, length was 10 and then the width would be 8. You're right. You would have to subtract 2 from the length to get the width. Okay. So now we have to solve it. And it's your choice here how to solve it. You can use substitution. You can use add subtract. So line one, line two. I'm going to use substitution. Line two is already solved for W. I'm going to put two into one. So what's one? What's line one? It's two W plus two L is 16. Okay, so it's two. Now it's not W anymore. It's L minus two plus two L is 16. Now work this out. 2L minus 4 plus 2L is 16. 4L is 12. Nope. 4L is 20. So L is 5. Okay. And now, if L is 5, i got to go into L2. What's W? It's L, which is 5, minus 2 is 3. Hey, that's what they suggested. So, the difference in what you're doing now, like all of this, you've done before. It's creating the system that's going to be trouble. Okay. What I should have said here at the very start, and this is a bit of a mistake on my part, I should have said L equals length and W equals width. Let's try, let's try the next one. Okay, for a figure skating competition, 12,000 tickets were sold. Tickets cost 35 for an adult. Let's, let's underline this again. 12,000 tickets were sold, 35 for an adult, 20 for a student. The total value of ticket sales was 307.5. Okay, so it says how many of each ticket were sold? 
So let's say I'll let x equal an adult ticket and y will equal a student ticket. Okay. Whoops, that's bad with the bracket. There we go. That's what better. So when you're doing questions like this, where you have some money involved, you have tickets, you need to pick, use one line just to talk about tickets and use another line just to talk about money. So if you're talking about tickets, you sold 12,000. Well, it's just this, right? X plus Y is 12,000. That's that you have so many adults and so many students, you end up with 12,000 people. This one now is different. This is the value. This is money. $35 for every adult plus $20 for every student will give you 307500 Okay. Big numbers here. So you have a choice now. Line 1, line 2. You could substitute or do add subtract. It really doesn't matter. Okay, and just, and again, this is personal preference. Just to mix things up here, I'm going to, um, I'm going to do it by add subtract. So I'm going to multiply this thing here by, you know what, I'm going to multiply it by 20. That's a smaller number. Times it by 20, I'll make the y's the same. So this will be 20x plus 20y will equal 240,000, and this one stays the same. Okay, now look, make a choice here. Are you adding or subtracting to get rid of the y's? You're subtracting. Minus, minus, minus. So this is minus 15x. That's zero. This I'm going to type in. 240, whoops, 240,000 minus 307,500, negative 67,500. Okay, now divide by 15. Now, I'm figuring out how many adults there are here. This better be an integer, because if I get a fraction, we've done something wrong. It worked out. 4,500. Okay, so now I'm going to take that 4,500 and plunk it into here, into line 1. So x is 4,500, plus y is 12,000, and solve for y. I get 7,500. Good. So it says how many of each tickets were sold? Therefore you sold 4,500 of that adult tickets and 7,500 student tickets. There you go. Okay, Big numbers, and uh, until you practice some of these, they're not going to seem obvious what to do. Okay, Let's try another one here. Uh, during a clearance sale, all the shirts on sale at one price, and all the sweaters are on sale at another price. Two shirts and four sweaters cost 98. One shirt and three sweaters cost 69. Create a system. How many of each? Okay. Let's do this. X will equal shirts and Y will equal sweaters. Okay. Wow. Not, not very good brackets here. That's better. I want you to pause it and see if you can come up with the solution, or not the full solution, just the system. I don't want you solving it. Just come up with um, what the two equations are. Okay, and then come back and we'll check. So pause the video now and then return when you're done. Okay, this is what I had. Whoops. Two shirts, four sweaters, is 98, one shirt, three sweaters, is 69. 
There you go. Okay, that's line one, that's line two. So now we have to solve it. So let's make a decision here. You know what? I'm going to do uh, add subtract again. I'm just going to leave this one alone. And this one I'm going to multiply by two. Okay, I'm going to leave this to you guys. Pause the video again. Solve it for X and Y, which is shirts and sweaters, and then return when you have it uh, when you have it all figured out. Okay, this will be two X. That's six Y. This is one thirty-eight, I believe. Okay, and now we are subtracting. It's minus two Y. Equal minus. 40? Is that right? I don't think so. It is. So this is 20. Okay, and now put it anywhere you want. I'm going to go into line 2, which is x plus 3 times 20 is 69. So x plus 60. 69. I'm running out of room here. So six. So then I would have sold six shirts and or bought and twenty twenty sweaters. Great. Good stuff. Okay. And I think this is the last one. I'm just gonna check here. It is. Okay. I'll start it with you and then you guys can again work on your own a little bit. So uh, in Calgary a school raised $195 by collecting 3,000 items for recycling. Five cents for each pop can, 20 cents for a large plastic bottle. How many of each? Okay, let's do this to start. Uh, what do we got? Pop cans and large plastic balls. Okay, you have to define that at the start. And now we can try and come up with some equations. So this is similar to the one we did with the adults and the students going to the, I think it was a concert. Where was it here? This one, the tickets. Yeah, figure skating, I think. Yes. So you want to keep the number of things in one line and the value or the money, let's say value, in a number in another line. L1, L2. So when you're doing this, the other thing I would point out, this is in dollars, and these two things are in cents. And you can't do it in both. You've got to put them all in dollars or put them all in cents. So I would suggest you put them all in, in uh, cents. Because you put them in dollars, you're going to be dealing with decimals rate that 5 cents be 0 0.05 and that's no fun. So put them everything into uh, into cents. So again I want you to pause it and you guys create these two systems here and see what you come up with. Okay give that a try now. Here's what I did. I'm collecting 3,000 items. The pop number of pop cans plus the number of plastic bottles give me 3,000. Done. Now the value. Five cents for each pop can. Five cents for the pop can. Twenty cents for the plastic bottle. Now $195. I have to put this in cents. $195 times 100. Okay. Now your choice how you want to solve this. Okay. Any way you want. I, I, I think it's probably fairly straightforward to do add subtract here again. I'm going to times that by 5. 5x plus 5y is 15,000. This one stays. Right, everything's lined up. And I think you want to subtract here all the way along. 
Okay, now let's subtract. What do we got? That's 0. That's minus 15y. I think this is minus 4,500. Yes. And now divide. I think that's 300. Yes. So now that's going to go into, I put it in there. You could put it in here. So now I'm going to go into line 1. So x plus y is 300 will equal 3,000, which means, oh, you have a lot more, 2,700. So you ended up with 2,700 pop cans and 300 large plastic bottles. There you go. Okay, those can be tricky. So when you guys are doing this now, this lesson is exercise, the work you're doing is exercise 46. When you're doing that, there are uh, 12, 12 of these word problems. You may not be able to set them up. Like they're not all going to look like this. There's some that will and some, some won't. So do what you can do, but the real value in trying to figure these out and getting better at them is to, to try and try. Okay, there's some stuff in here about current in water, I think. Uh, is there one like that? No, but there's one about flying planes into the wind or against the wind or with the wind. There's two like that. Okay, that might be a little tricky, but give, give them all a try. Some of them will look familiar to what we've been doing here and you should be fine. Okay, and then there's a few review questions after that. Good luck with that, and we're back with the uh, last lesson of the unit coming up.